You know, here's the thing. When we use other people's sites, especially now in the social media era, when we build our platform on somebody else's site, uh, we risk losing the ability to communicate to our fans, our followers, and subscribers via those sites. You know, we don't own Facebook. We don't own Twitter. We don't own Snapchat. We don't own any of these platforms. And yet I see some people building their business solely on those platforms and you know things change nothing is forever in terms of service change sites go out of business sites get bought by somebody else and and uh, the whole functionality can change and i've seen people's entire businesses changed in a, a overnight by a simple uh, seo update that all of a sudden their youtube videos aren't being viewed anymore and so having your own email list is something you can control and it goes hand in hand with having your own website uh, you know your website is your home it's your place on the web and I've been I've had websites since 1995 but I've had a blog at joelcom.com since 2003 and I still regularly release content on that blog and I leverage the other social sites to drive traffic to those blogs and of course on my blog there's opt-ins, there's offers, there's free ebook offers, uh, there's you know subscribe to my newsletter offers, and building that email list ensures that I have an asset that belongs to me that can't be taken away by what happens with any other site in the world. All right, so just just like your blog, uh, you know you own it, the content on there, uh, email, you're doing the opt-ins on your on your blog, but you're collecting them, and you own that as well. I see that as being obviously super important uh, for the reasons that you've you've just mentioned. What kind of impact has email had on your business in terms of you know whether it's you know building audience or actually making money? Oh, it's tremendous. You know, from the very beginning, we built a newsletter from my first site, worldvillage.com, and that allowed me to continue to bring traffic back to the site. And then when affiliate marketing started being a thing, I was able to send offers for products and services to that list as an affiliate and generate significant commissions, uh, really significant commissions from promoting uh, other people's stuff. Uh, it's also been huge for when I have my own products or services to be able to announce to my list that I've got something I want to share with them. But what's most important to me about the list is not that I can sell to people via it. What's most important to me is that I can build a relationship with my fans and my followers and my subscribers via my list, which is why I'm a big believer that most of what you send to your list should be content that you should always be delivering value, building relationship with the audience and nurturing them takes time so that when you do have something to sell, they're already listening, they're already engaged, they already know, like, and trust you. And when you have built that into the relationship with your audience, then it's not a very far hop to get them to take an action for purchasing something. Okay, that's 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 a great take on it. And and, and when you're saying you know it's uh, the cornerstone of your business, I mean, you're building a relationship obviously through this method. And there's probably people watching thinking, well, there's loads of other ways to build a relationship. Why why email? Well, you know, there's a lot of the younger generation, especially, doesn't use email because they're all about the quick social. But uh, what we discover with email is that the majority of people still use it. Uh, and they, uh, they actually want quality content in their inbox. You know, the ability to reach people who have said, yes, I want to subscribe to what you have to say. Um, the, the, the number of people that will open and read your email is often much bigger than those that will see your posts on Facebook or on Twitter or any of the other social sites. And, uh, you know, when you've got Mark Zuckerberg determining with his algorithm what your friends and family and subscribers are going to see and what they're not going to see, you don't control that. But with email, we know that we have the power to go directly into people's inboxes. And, of course, we can use HTML email and dress it up, or we can use plain text, which I really like to do because I find that it has better deliverability rates, and we can do it as frequently as we want to and know that every time we send that email, there's a, it goes to the inbox and there's an opportunity for it to be opened and read and acted upon. 